Hey guys, before this video gets started, I just want to let you know that my cover band, Weeby, now has a Patreon. So if you guys like songs like this... Or this... I keep my ideal set high, they'll help me fly! What's going through? You can now support us on Patreon.com slash WeBelieveMusic, where you'll get early access to songs, the MP3 downloads to songs, behind the scenes, bloopers, exclusive live streams for our patrons, and other things that I can't remember right now because I'm an idiot. But with your help, we can make fuller versions of songs. Instead of just doing TV-sized versions of songs, we could do full-size versions of songs constantly. So please support us on patreon.com slash webelievemusic. The link will be in the description below, as well as the card in the corner. And if you guys want to subscribe to us on YouTube, the link will also be in the description below, as well as the card in the corner. Thanks for hearing me out, and now enjoy the video. Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm Alejandro Sa, King Films Cagmaster, whatever the heck you would call me, and this is another Let's Play. That's right. That's right, folks. This is a brand new Let's Play. This is Pokemon Phoenix Rising. Now, one of my favorite legendary Pokemon is Ho-Oh, because it's a fucking Phoenix, and I think it's badass. Uh, a lot of people prefer Lugia, but me, you know, <clears throat> a smart intellectual prefers ho -Oh. I'm kidding. I don't, I don't know if that's true. What's really cool about this, it has a plot that's different, apparently, and this is episodic, so it's still not completely done. If you guys enjoy this Let's Play, let's re- let's get to 1,000 likes, and I'll continue the Let's Play. If not, then I'm just gonna end it. That's just how it's gonna be from now on, because I got a lot of shit to do, okay? Let's start with Pokemon Phoenix Rising. The game you are about to play is a fan-made Pokemon creation. It is created by a group of part-time volunteer, non-professional game developers, and artists. The game is free, and always will be. We accept no money, we just love Pokemon, and creating unique experiences. Well, isn't that nice of them? Well, hello there, snack! First, they need you to create an avatar. Just create one that best expresses your personal style. Oh. Alto! That means tall, or high, yes. A fan-made project. Oh, look at it. I like it. I like it a lot. Wow, for a fan-made game, and they're like, we're not artists. This shit looks great. Oh, a Nidoran and a Nidoran. Oh, the Nidoran's telling the other Nidoran to go into the woods. Oh, they fucking. Oh, they fucking. Hawthorne Woods. Hmm. Have I ever told you why I live in Hawthorne Woods High? It's because I get high! Most assume I think that I longed for a natural setting, to be one with nature. Actually, I wanted to fucking die! Certainly, the Pokémon here are kind, and the flora is magnificent, yes! I even admit my cooking has greatly improved since I became, began my hermitage. But I would not live away from society for a pretty view. That would be fucking stupid. No. I live here because I find it... pure. Out here, I'm able to reflect on my life. To think more clearly than I ever have. When I was your age, <laughs> finding a thinking place was very simple. A quiet place. I can watch all the porn I wanted. Three days later. Where the fuck are you going, old kid? Hey! Hey! I thought we were having tea. Come inside if you would. <laughs> Get in my fucking house that I, uh, totally built and didn't buy. A lesson in destiny. Objective complete. Meet the soothsayer for tea. I am so glad you decided to come over one last time. A few moments later. I've some bad news, Hi. I think perhaps there is a possibility I am out of tea. You know what? I imagine your mother has tea. Your father was a tea fanatic. Although I feel terrible asking this, could you run home and check with her? Without fail, a good cup of tea will calm your anxieties before this journey. You'll run over there, yes? You will? Wonderful! Hey, <laughs> this stupid kid. I'll be here waiting for your return. 
but I never said I was gonna go. Collect tea bags from mom. Visit the lab. Cool. You know, I'm not liking your I'm not liking your tone, old geezer. Your windbag. You see, I was gonna head to my mom, but your stupid face was like, no, your mother, fuck you. Oh shit, it's the Nidorans! We caught him in the middle of fucking He's like, you just fucked me! You just fucked me, kid! <laughs> like, literally, that Nidoran was like, I can't believe you. I was in the middle. I was about to fuck, and you fucked me. You fucked me from fucking. God damn it. You're not my... Dad? G Dad! You came home! Hey there, hi. Are you looking for Professor Lotus? I haven't seen her since this morning. Have you checked her lab? If not there, if not there she was probably called away. Why do you ask Tim where she is? The soothsayer might know. Who the fuck is Tim? I'm going upstairs in your own house. This is nice, uh, this is a nice room I got. Where the fuck is my mom? Is he my mom? I thought this was my house. Who the fuck are you, you old woman? Hello, hi! So nice to see you! I remember when you were yee high! Hehe, <laughs> get it? Cause you're high! Most everyone in Nocturne Town is getting on in age. Not much is different here from when I was a young girl. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, you're getting quite strong. <laughs> Mother? Is this my house? Mom? I used to live in Sal Tempo City, which is a really exciting place to live. After a while, though, I couldn't take the urban life anymore, so I came here. There are a lot of old people here. It's quiet, really quiet. Where the fuck do you sleep? She cares more about television than sleeping. Jesus. Look at all these windbags. Is this my house? It's the only one with a mailbox. Eve's house. Is Eve my mother? Oh, mother. Mother dearest, is this you? Oh, hi. You're home early. Hold on. Jesus fucking kid. Have you finished already? Normally, the soothsayer can talk and talk me to into the ground. This sweet, delusional old man. I need tea. He doesn't have tea. He didn't check before he invited you over for tea. Well, regardless, he needs tea bags. But I'm not sure we have any ourselves. I know, Mom. He's a complicated old man. He really needs to be more responsible living all alone out there. We both know it's not the first time that something has happened like this. Perhaps he could grow his own tea surrounded by all that forest. You know, do something with his fucking miserable life. Not that I don't sympathize with his choice. It's beautiful in those woods. Well, look at that. Tea bags. Not much, but it should be fine for your fucking goddamn purposes with that old man. You know, I had this crazy thought that your father took all his tea with him. Maybe not so crazy if you remember. He did cart away that broken radio. You think he still has it? Neither of us have ever seen his place there. That fucking dirtbag. If you see him, you fucking beat the shit out of him for me. I'm sure you'll see evidence of his tea addiction at the bachelor pad. And you'll have to tell me if he does. He always has a ter He's always terrible about that. Here, let me put these in your bag for you. You'll lose them otherwise. I got a tent. That shit was a tent. There you are, in the key items pouch. Open the menu and you'll see it there. Now, don't spend too much time on this tea business. You can't be late. Professor Lotus is always so busy, and she's doing you and your father a favor. A favor? If you dally, you'll end up with one of my hand me down. <laughs> Happy now, Pokemon! is your first! In fact, if you were being considerate, you would stop by the lab and check in. Fucking douchebag. You know, do your duties. Bring tea badge to the soothsayer! Let's go to the fucking lab, whatever the fuck that is. Okay, can't go there. Okay. Is this the lab? Is this the lab? Is this the labo? I'ma say it is. Are you Professor Lotus? Huh? 
Hi! <laughs> hey, hey! How you doing? You're here early! Professor Lotus said you would be here way later than this. Uh, you remember me, right? I'm Tim! We've met, like, uh, twice? No, it's no big deal. Uh, welcome! You're here for your first Pokemon, right? That's so exciting. We've been getting them ready forever. Should we wait for Professor Lotus? She said she wanted to be here for this, but I haven't heard from her since. Some kind of errand took her out to Tr Tranquilo Town earlier today. Field work has never been my scene, so Lotus left me here to babysit! It's so funny that Lotus does that stuff all the time. Uh... Yeah! She's a hero! Uh, sort of. But we actually know her in person, you know? We get to see the real her! Yeah! Um, I'm stalling. Really, I just don't know when she's getting here. When she's getting back. You're not that early. Maybe she's the late one. As if. I bet you're dying to see them, huh? The Pokemon! They're super cute. Can I leave? I, I literally just came in to check on you. Well, maybe I can let you look at them. Before she gets here. A sneak peek. That would be okay, right? I'm not usurping protocol. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll It'll be fine. Come on, let's go take a look. Okay. Oh. What kind of fucking Pokemon? So this is Petal, the bulb Pokemon. Cute, right? Real pretty, a grass type. They're a female-only species, and they love soil. That's rich in nutrients. If you eat their le if you eat their leaves, you'll get an e a little energy boost. It's kind of fucked up that you would eat your own Pokemon, but I mean, hey, you know, to each their own. Of course, I've never tried one. Okay, moving on. Aw, oh, shit. Growlithe! My boy. This is Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon. Don't you love that hair? That shaggy mane? We're fire type. Growlithe are the dom domesticated Pokemon, and they really get attached to you. Apparently, they can smell your emotions. Weird, right? Super noses. Okay, last one. You, you, you excited? Fucking, I don't know. Is that a Starmie? Or Staryu? This is Staryu! My personal favorite. Aren't they cool? I love letter types. They're the star shaped Pokemon because they're superstars! Alright, I'm gonna go kill myself now. Plus, they're able to physically regrow their limbs, which is like. like fucking weird. Um. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Now you really want one, huh? Look, why don't you just go ahead and pick one? The professor was gonna give you one eventually, right? I can tell it later. And I know how exciting it is to own your first Pokemon. I'll be winning at the front lab, so just let me know when you've decided. Good luck. No pressure. Okay. Goodbye. You slow son of a bitch. Soft reset with F12. Sometimes you might want to reset the game and reload your save file. Remember to save first or you'll lose your progress. Oh. I guess I should save. If only I knew what- Oh shit! Yes! I sure have a lot of money. Sure have a lot of money. Oh damn. Oh damn. Oh, oh, oh. Which one, which one shall I pick? It's gonna be Growlithe. Come here, boy! Would you like the fire-type Growlithe? Yeah! Growly! Hell yes! Give me the fire fucker. Would you like to give a nickname to Growlithe? You bet your ass. His name shall be. Wait, wait. I will name him in the name of my dog. Shit. I pressed the wrong thing. In the name of my dog, he shall be Ryuji. Growlithe is my Ryuji. Hi, obtain Growlithe. <laughs> He's also a fire type, you know, we could've get some high. Or I could have chosen the grass type and then we would have really gotten high. Fuck! Anyway. We got Growlithe! Talk of Pokemon following by pressing control. If you ever wish to put your Pokemon back in its Pokeball or take it out again, press control. Oh, this is so beautiful. Look! I'm getting a little teary-eyed. You're gonna love Trinidad University, my alma mater. Especially now that you have a lifelong friend to help you through it. Yeah. And now we wait for Professor Lotus to get back from her trip. 
She still has some things to give you. Advice or gadgets or something. I don't think I can let you go exactly without having seen her first. So... Life like a lotus. Oh, this is a good lesson. So, Tranquillo Town is east of here. You would take a Route 1 to get there. It connects to Tranquillo to Nocturne. Route 1 is short, and Tranquillo Town is really tiny, smaller than Nocturne. So, Professor Lotus won't be long. You just have to wait. Yeah, fuck that. Wait, wait, wait! Are, are you leaving? I thought... You're gonna help me explain the situation to Lotus, right? Thank you for waiting with me. I really appreciate the support. Professor Lotus is so talented, but she's also a little scary, right? Maybe you don't think that. She's... Yeah. You know that I really respect her, right? I wasn't like trash hogging her, I swear. She's an incredible scientist researcher, but her standards are crazy, you know? This is really awkward. You could go. No hard feelings. I'll explain to Lotus. I'll see you later, though. And this was really great, right? Yeah, okay. Have fun. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're gonna kill Tim. They're gonna kill Tim. Let's get out of here, Ryuji. Jesus. Oh, it's nighttime. That's fucking weird. Ryuji let out a battle cry. That's a good boy. Get the fuck in your Pokeball. Now get out and get it back in. And get out and get back in. And get out. Aw. The little boy. The little boy. Ah, shit. All right. Now, before we continue on this journey, we gotta go have some tea. But you know what? We're gonna do that next time on Pokemon Phoenix Rising. Thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed this, remember to leave a like. If you guys want me to continue this, make sure to let's get to 1,000 likes and I will do the next episode soon. Thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. I try to upload every single day. So if you like, comment, subscribe, click on that little bell that's the subscribe button so you to get notified next time I do upload. Hopefully, we'll fucking see. Maybe they will actually show you the next episode. Anyway, thank you and I hope to see all of you next time. Later! Cut, 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 cut.